Yorana, and welcome to FM Tahiti. Um, you're back in time for some cup action. So we had a few episodes previously about the OCL, our debut kind of OCL uh, season, and that obviously went well. So if you have a look at the schedule, three OCL, oh, I'll show you a match where I didn't mean to, um, three group matches, one 6 nil, 5 nil, 4 nil. we kind of descended gradually, which hopefully means we'll win the quarters, three, semis, two, and the final one nil. I'm hoping for that kind of pattern in my life. Probably will end up disrupted by the New Zealand teams who will destroy us when we eventually face them, or potentially Moria if we end up drawn uh, against them. I played a couple of league matches um, next, so we went away to Morpiha and lost 4-1. Uh, we went to the Sky Brights and we drew one all. The Sky Brights were doing particularly well. So the Premiership's currently looking. It takes a long while to click on that. So we're fourth currently. We've got a game in hand on Sky Brights, but that's about it. So we won't move too much. Um, it's all fairly close. So we're seven points behind Eels, who are the leader. A um, couple behind Bora Bora, four behind Sky Brights. Not a huge gap, but it's gradually getting bigger. We're slipping away from them now, and I think it's probably because we're just too tired. This month's been brutal. So we lost 4-1 uh, to Morpiha, who down here, and then drew one all with Sky Brights. I basically rotated the team. So we played the strongest team in the OCL to try and make sure we'd get... Um, you know, the top position, make sure we're qualified and everything was good there. And then I kind of rotated and played a lot of fringe players in these two league matches, so then we could be fresh for our cup matches, because everything's happening within like about three days uh, of each other. So it's been a little bit tense. I'm not too upset with that draw, for example, because that wasn't bad considering, considering how strong they are and how weak our team was. That 4-1 was a little bit harsh. I'd hope we'd scrape a few more points uh, there. But we've got the cup final now, the Inter-Island Cup, which I will just play in this episode, and I'll probably have the Mutiny one separate, but I might release both episodes on the same day, so you can click through them. Breezy 20 degrees, we're playing at our own stadium uh, against Taha, so obviously I forgot to set the um, stadium that it would be played in, so instead of a national neutral stadium, it's just randomly assigned between whoever gets to the final. Just one of the quirks of uh, playing in French Polynesia for our database. We've got our final against Taha. So Taha are the reigning champions of the Inter Island Cup. A relatively big team. They've got plenty of players there. Feels like they've had a youth intake. No, they've had that player a while. That's not youth into it. For a second, I was panicking that I'd missed um, missed out on actually on youth intake, and I'd just gone past it. Look at them generally to see if there are any kind of threats, in particular in terms of goals. They're not particularly prolific at the moment. So in terms of strikers, they've got Jules Robinson for Oliver Charrier with six. Jules Robinson looks decent. Um, I think we got better there. Charrier also looks okay. Getting on a bit. I say getting on a bit, still younger than I am. And then we've got uh, Diakite. He's good. Six or five, is that? Six. And. Chiron, Christophe Chiron, good as well, but he's not an attacker. They're ninth in the Premiership. They've not been having a particularly good season. They were really low down to begin with, and they've sacked the manager, and they've had a bit of resurgence, and they managed to kind of scrape their way into the final. But hopefully, we're going to ignore the league form, focus on a cup form, which is good from the um, OCL, and crush them for our first cup. So even though it's our um, first cup final, we've only sold 482 tickets out of our 500 capacity. We didn't need too many more, but we still couldn't manage it, which is a little bit 
depressing. Here's the team. We've got Semi Gerard up front, who has 31 goals in 32 appearances. We've got Wallace, who has 13 in about 33 appearances. Um, got Ryan Smith on the left. No, that's not what we want. Richards, who is unfit. And anyone else? No, I'll have to leave that there. So Ryan Smith's a youth player I brought on because Richards was tired and Douglas was a little bit tired. But I think we'll have to start with Richards, even though he's half dead, and then bring on Douglas. So you've got Richards, Narandona of the uh, beautiful handball fame. Weaver, Wait, because Manuel is injured, but Wait's also been doing pretty well. With his run in, so he's got nine goals in 26 and eight assists. And then Lamb at left back, notice his rating is 5.7, uh, 7.57, get my numbers mixed up. And the alternative is between Joe Jansen, who is on 6.85. So Lamb's playing a lot better overall than Joe Jansen and gets the nod. Chance, we gave a run because he was whining. He's been playing really well. Salaberry comes back in. Well, I imagine I'll change one of these at half time for Bolt. And McIntyre gets the nod at right. Hmm. Ahmed, all faithful. Goal. Probably have selected two outside the squad, but I don't care because I think they're players I don't really care about. Oh, it's McCloy and Higgins, I think, I've left out. But they're both a little bit tired anyway. So here we go 4 4 2 against a 4 4 1 1. I do find the 4 4 1 1 difficult. Also jealous. Big man, small man combination we potentially do. Go win this for the fans. Do not care. If this was some kind of Sunderland Till I Die documentary about our team, this would be the point where Darren Gibson slags everyone off. They just don't care about the fans, all 400 and whatever it is of them. Doesn't look like it's forged an 80 there. Knocking it around at the back. When we played Morpair and Skybrights, I think we played against one of them who had had um, the expansion finished. And they had two stands, one behind each goal. It's quite big. And that was it, nothing on the um, longer size of the pitch. And it looked really good. It was really nice because it was just different from everything else. Lamb knocks it forward. Go on, Gerard. Oh, beautiful. Offside, but beautiful. Maybe disallowed, but he had to have the touch. Z. Ye oh, harsh. Benefit of the doubt. I've imag you know, I imagine he's going to score anyway, but... Wallace, go on. Promising first five minutes. Getting into the positions, even if the positions are offside horribly, but still counts. Smacked against the wall. Of the two cups we've got, go on, get rid of that. Get rid of it. We've got the Mutiny Trophy after this. Oh, Wallace. Wallace, no! Just stepped right across him. It was a very exaggerated tackle. And in it goes. I'm not going to watch the replay of that. Wallace, you idiot. There's no need. So maybe Talha are a bit of a cup team. Maybe that's where their abilities lie. Get rid of it. Let's get on the counter. Make him pay. <laughs> Made him look foolish. So foolish then. Like he tripped up. Aaron Donner. Look at his magic. I don't think he intended that. That ball was weird. I feel a little bit like since I've named him Aaron Donner, he's got worse. Oh. That was a soft goal. Why didn't anyone stop him? 
Is that he just ran through? And why? Oh, look at this. See, could have stopped him here? No, three guys. Two of them could have stopped him there? No. Oh, is that technically a bit of a deflection? That looks... He looked like he tapped it in himself. Ah, oh, so I was kind of... I wasn't mocking Robinson, but I pointed out he wasn't actually that good. Goal tally-wise, even though he was attributes-wise. And now he's got Brace. This is going to be really difficult to rescue with the team being still half-dead. While it's half-dead, also liability. We don't have Chisholm on the bench, I don't think, because he's injured or suspended. Some kind of red... Oh, what? How? Is this because I told them to do it for the fans and they just decided they don't like them? Take this. If you're real fans, you would have shown up to Fiji to watch us win all those matches. This is what you get. It's a good goal. Maybe it's the hangover of travelling. It is... What's it? I can't remember if it's 2,200 or 2,800 mile trip just to Fiji. Go on, Gerard. No. Should have been a little bit less selfish. I'll wait. Go on. Get back in. To rescue this. I need to get gold back soon, I think. All the way back, yeah. Yes, it's... Over 2,000 miles just there, so we've done close to 5,000 miles as a round trip before going back to play two more games. So we did 2,000 miles, played three games in nine days, 2,000 miles, three games in nine days again. Soon to be four and 12. So we are a little tired, I guess. Go on, Gerard. Go on. No. <laughs> Any other match? That'd be an in. Good move there. So where the long ball's meant to be working to the target man who nods it on. So this was a terrible half. This was Richards is knackered. I think this may have been a mistake because I'm not seeing Richards do anything. Probably because he can't run. So I'm gonna have to bring Douglas on and hope that maybe he can rescue things a little bit. Not that different on the stats. We started well. Jinx there by saying we started well. Show us something else. Blah blah, they care. Suddenly they care. Richard's off. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I've got Henderson, but no. No one else. Might as well stick with Wallace, even though he's a liability in defence, apparently. Just went mad. Didn't even get a card for it, though. Come on, get rid of it. This looks a bit. Oh, Jared takes you down so well. Oh no, that was amazing. Took it down, smacked it against the post. Can't quite get to the rebound, but he tried. That's why he is the best player we've got. Constantly getting linked elsewhere. By elsewhere, I mean mainly to um, Moria, the Yellow Lizards. Reigning Premiership champions, although I don't think they will be by the end of this season. Go on, wait, get it. Get it forward. Let's get it forward. Play many long balls, considering you're meant to be doing long ball. Just get it forward. I mean, interesting shot. A lot of tippy tappy kind of football. That's not what we're, we're about as humpbacks. Our philosophy is get it forward fast, and we're not doing that. To look at the tactics, I. Right. I don't like pausing. It feels a little bit like cheating, but. Possession. Extremely direct. Transition. To 
of the target mana are over. And only get it to centre back so then they can push it up a bit. But I think over the defence. Gerard's running over the def through the defence quite well. Wallace isn't an amazing. He's okay as a target man, isn't he? But no, we'll go over the top. Oh, press play as well, apparently, because I forgot to do that. Oh. Come on, just get it in. Gerard, the comeback's on. 32 goals in 33. It's his birthday. Well done, Gerard. You could have had the birthday hat trick, but you've squandered your chances by being offside or shooting straight at the keeper. There we go. Big lad. I think it's like his 19th birthday, 20th birthday. It's going to be a disappointing birthday for him if we don't pull something back. Oh, almost. Just need that goal. One more goal, and then it's all to play for again. Okay, forward Weaver. All this trying. I feel like the momentum shifted. But has it been enough? I think now is the time for subs. I think now is the time for subs. The subs bench is also pretty weak. Okay, Henderson on for Wallace. Henderson's normally good for a goal. Wallace hasn't done much other than give away a goal. Have the occasional shot. Um, Spearling for Narendona. Because Narendona's not doing much other than just passing back and forth. Spearling's at least good at free kicks. Very, very limited options. See if Tar are going to end up two time winners. Establishing themselves as one of the cup teams. Go on, Spearling. Just get it forward. Okay, Henderson, Gerard, go on. So many shots he's taken. He's not as wasteful as Chisholm is. But not these hit rates, a little bit better than that. I'm not going to put it on all out attack or whatever because that never works. That's shooting from range. Come on. And it's over. Disappointment. Poor in a form. Some. It's like it's just that terrible half hour of just them banging the goals in. Well, something. Can't believe this. Taha have got all the way here, scraping the way through. It's like having a terrible season. We're having a really good season. Oh, I don't want to see this. This is our stadium as well. Picking up purple and white ticker tape forever. I like how they only got it on one half the pitch. Tidy. Now it's everywhere, apparently. It's like when you hoover up after a Christmas tree. For six months, you're still finding little needles everywhere. Except this time it's going to be Taha's ticker tape. Okay, we can add Taha to the list of teams we now hit. Them and Tetaroa. Seems to be the T's. I wonder if we'll end up with like a competitive rivalry against them. I mean, I hate them now. 3-1 at home. No, not assertive. Aggressive. Yeah, getting training. Everyone loves that. They're not 
I'm going to love that. That was a mistake thinking about it because we've got two days until the next match. Let's see the news. Taha lifted for the second time running. Little things. I'm just going to shout at people. Got £2,000 for losing. I mean, and the board are delighted we even reached the final. What's that £2,000 do in that extra revenue from the match day? Oh, it's still 173 grand in debt rather than 175. Amazing. Yep, slam the team. I guess squad bonus of 2.7. Oh, I see. I see. So we're in, we're losing money on this one. It's a loss maker. <sighs> Trial and cup. Really wanted this one. Of the two cups, this is the one. Interesting though. Taha have won it twice, but the runners up have also both been from uh, the Austral Islands. So I'll leave it here for this episode and reflect on just how badly we do. I'm just going to go straight forward and record um, the Mutiny Trophy now as the next episode. I'll probably put both up together in two chunks so you can decide whether you want to take a break between the misery of this one and the, the misery of the next. Uh, thanks very much uh, for watching. No lap of honour, unfortunately. Bye.